morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you very much for attending this morning's event, Marketing Techniques and Social Networking, How to Connect with Your Customers. We have three very dynamic speakers today. I'm Deborah Hoffman, Director of Economic Development for Passaic County, New Jersey. I really welcome you this morning. And because we did bring up video, thank God we have a speaker to focus on that today. Uh, Greg Riccardi is the Marketing Director of Video Marketing Group, one of our sponsors today for refreshments. And he's considered an expert in, by his peers in video production and marketing. As a former film camera, field camera operator and producer for News 12 New Jersey, Greg prides himself on his ability to de dig deep into an individual company or organization, aid them in identifying what makes them unique, and then help them articulate why someone should be doing business with them using video to do so. Throughout the years, Greg has produced hundreds of television commercials and corporate marketing videos, and his client list includes such names as Avea, Kia Worldwide, Honda, and LG. Greg has also enjoyed an extensive career in voiceovers, as you'll understand when he comes up to speak, having uh, voiced commercials and promos for the Today Show, Olympus Camera, American Airlines, Cortisone 10, and he's the voice of the Gillette Fusi Fusion Razor Blade. Now that's pretty exciting. Greg and Video Marketing Group utilize two production and recording studios, one in Paramus, one in Allendale. Please welcome Greg Riccardi. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll start off by saying we'll be right back after these messages. Okay. So, okay, so thanks for, thanks for having me today. Um, I, did, does everybody have a, this, it's, it's a bunch of notes. This is what I'm going to be using today. We show some video later. I'm not going to be using a PowerPoint, also in the interest of time as well. But um, I take, I've taken care of all the notes you really have to write. Does anybody not have this that needs it? They're, they're out front, actually. Um, done table, okay. So, uh, before we started, I wanted to, to uh, let everyone know that we're going to be giving away a free video today for a, for a company. It's a, it's a free blog style video. We'll go into what a blog style video is. Um, before we do that, and, and, and so that we can uh, choose the person or company that's going to receive it, I was wondering if everyone could take out a business card, take out one of your own business cards. We're going to use that for the drawing. If you want to write on a piece of paper, you can do that as well. Now, on the back of the business card, I want you to write three letters. Does everybody have a pen and a card and all that stuff? Okay. I'll give you a few seconds. It's a little fun game. I'll do some voiceovers in the meantime while you get your cards out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, write on the back of the card three letters. The one is a C. The letter C on the left side, in the middle write the letter R, and then on the right side write the letter N, C, R, N. We're going to get back to, to that at the very end of the presentation. So hold on to that. Okay. So basically uh, what I want to go over uh, with you today are, are a few things. One, I'm just going to briefly go through some significant video facts. I'm going to hit actually only on one of them, really. Uh, the rest are listed there for you. Number two, the benefits of using video. Number three, the, the different types of videos that you can use for marketing your, your company or organization. And then number four, the um, keys to a successful video. Some tips on how to actually, um, you know, have a successful video. So how many people have, are using video right now to, to market their companies on their website, blog, Facebook? Great, excellent. How many are considering using it but aren't yet? Okay, fantastic. Okay, so um, what I want to do is is go over some you know some significant video facts. The main one that's on the sheet here is, the, is actually the second fact. One is that the the second one is that YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet after Google. So people actually, when they're searching for anything, whether it's uh, accounting or medical services or construction or anything like that, whatever business you're in, they're actually using YouTube second to Google. So, of course, you want to be on Google, but you also want to be on YouTube and, and again, be using uh, video for your, you know, for your marketing. So there's a bunch of other statistics here, which I'll, which I'll just um, uh, glaze over here. Uh, there are 2 billion video views per week that are monetized, which means somebody's making money off of them. Um, 
The number of online video viewers is expected to double be, uh, to 1.5 billion in 2016. Uh, and here's another good one. Globally, online video traffic will be 55% of all consumer internet traffic. There's a lot of internet traffic that's not consumer internet traffic. 55% of it, by, of that traffic will be videos going back and forth uh, by 2016. So those are some of the you know, significant uh, video facts. As far as benefits of using video, there are many. Uh, number one, video sets you apart from the competition. So I like to tell people all the time that, uh, you know, w why do people come to networking events? You, you, you know, the unfortunate reality is that there are other people who do what we do. There's no one in, the, in this room here, I don't think, that is the only person in the world that does what they do. So the reason why you come to networking events is to have people remember you and put a face to the, the name and to put a face to your service. That's what uh, video does. So um, years ago, let's say 10 years ago or so, you know, you may have decided, you know, or, or thought to yourself, do I need a website? And we all know what the answer to that is today. Yes, you absolutely need a website uh, to, to market your business. I'm here to tell you, and this is my little joke here, you know, what, what time is it? Okay, it's about, uh, yeah, it's, it's time. You, you, you actually need video nowadays to market your, your service, your product. Um, it, it's definitely something that's not a, you're going to need it at some point. You really need it because, very simple, your competition's using it and gaining the benefit of it. Secondly, with video, you appear like you know what you're doing. Now, I don't mean that to be as funny as that sounds because um, the, the, the thing that's very interesting is that when you put yourself out there on video as an expert and you're teaching and you're doing some of the things I'm gonna advocate in, in this presentation, whether you actually know you know, what you're doing as, as much as the next person who's your competition, you are getting the benefit of people assuming you know what you're doing and in your industry. So, and vice versa, if you're not using video to market yourself and to convey what you know about your industry and someone else is, whether you know more about your what you're doing than they do, they are getting the advantage of the appearance of being a thought leader, being an authority in your field, and they're getting the benefit of it. <clears throat> Video sells from afar, and it sells 24 hours a day. Again, I go back to the networking thing. There's nothing that can really replace networking. Uh, I love it, and it's great to do, and everyone here is meeting each other and, and gaining business that way. It's a great thing. However, what you can add to that is a video of yourself that sits on your website. So if I'm browsing, looking for your, your industry, your company, etc and I want to entertain using you as you know, a service provider or buying your product, and there's video up there, it's like I'm meeting you. you know. So we're videotaping each of the presentations today, right? So I don't know if you knew that, but. Um, yeah, I think you looked good, I, I checked it. Um, so, you know, so, so this vi presentation, these three presentations are gonna live on on a website somewhere that can be you know, used 24 hours a day. So, um, and at no, at no cost, which we'll go over as well. Video creates stickiness to your brand. If, if we all had a store, right, for what we do, it would be great if people were just in our store all the time, right? So I don't have a store. Most people aren't retail operations here, but the, the point I'm trying to make is that the, the longer someone spends time with your brand, the better it is. So if you have an interesting and compelling and engaging video on your website about who you are and what you do and why someone should be doing business with you, the longer they sit on that video and they're watching the video because it's engaging, the more they're interacting with your brand and the more that is good for you and your business. This is a, uh, the next one is, is conversion. And if you, if you have this sheet, I really want, that's why I put it in all capitals, either circle it, highlight it, or write something next to it, put a star. Conversion is an extremely important term. Does anybody know, who knows, who knows what conversion is? Anyone, Bueller.
Exactly. That's, that, that's one. Yes. So conversion, clicking from your website to call or something like that. Okay. So yes, conversion is the process of taking someone from wherever they are in the sales process to the next step in the sales process. So, so hypothetically, let's say you have your website and on your website, you want someone to call your company. Video helps you help, helps that person convert that person from a casual website browser to someone who's going to call. There's other things here as well. So it could be make a donation. It could be, you could, you could want someone to simply put something in a shopping cart. You'd love for them to buy, but if someone puts an item into a shopping cart, you still have a, a, a closer relationship to them than if they don't. So video has been shown to increase conversion from one step to the next step by 52%, which means that 52% of people are more likely to take that next step than if there wasn't video on the website. Okay, video creates psychological debt. What do I mean by that? Uh, one thing that, I, that I've advocated for forever is educate. Educate, educate, educate. So educate your potential customers about your industry. Um, uh, one idea that, that's, that's written here is uh, at very minimal, Put a video on your website that educates people how to buy your service. If you weren't in your industry, what would you want to know about, about how to research your industry, how to you know, ask questions of someone that looks, that's, that's looking to sell you know, your thing? So um, when you create educational content, that creates what I call psychological debt, where all things being equal, I've got three websites. They are all, uh, let's say, um, employment services. So if the two, you know, website one and two have no video on there educating me about the service, but website number three has tons of video up there saying, this is how you hire an employment service. This is how you hire a resume writer. This is how you do X, Y, and Z. I'm naturally going to gravitate. You know what? This person, this company educated me on, you know, gave me some great information. How can I not use them type of thing? So that's what I call creating psychological debt. Uh, as was just mentioned, um, uh, video creates tremendous SEO benefit. All right. Search engines are constantly trying to improve the results that they give to people when people make searches. So knowing that people love video, Guess what? Google loves video. So, and, and the other search engines as well. So, uh, properly housed and tagged video on your website gets picked up, you know, more uh, quickly. I, I have, I have, do have one story actually. It is actually here, Bergen County Acupuncture. Three years ago, a company came to us, a uh, 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 acupuncture practitioner in Bergen County, and. Um, Bergen County is one of the most densely populated, you know, New Jersey's most densely populated state in the country, and, and Bergen County is up there in terms of being most densely populated. There's got to be thousands of individual practitioners and companies that do acupuncture. So we made some videos, blog-style videos of, uh, her name is Rachel Lopez, and educate. I had questions as a marketer. I want to know certain things, you know, trying to play John Q. Public. What do I want to know about acupuncture? Asked her a whole bunch of questions. We made uh, six or seven videos. To this day, if you type in Bergen County and then acupuncture, which is a very broad search, not just her link comes up, but her video comes up. I can actually do it. I'll try to do it here uh, on, online. But her video pops up, Meet Rachel. It's been there for three years. First page of Google results, and it's not just a text link. It's a video of her, you know, um, talking about what she does. So search engine, search engine optimization is huge. It's measurable and trackable. So um, depending on the program that you use, it could be YouTube, it could be other uh, types of uh, video players. You could tell if your video is being watched. You could tell if you have a two-minute video up there. You know what? 58% of my people are bailing. They're, they're clicking off of it at 1.06 sec, uh, you know, minutes in the video. Why is it? You can look on the video and see, you know, why are people leaving at this point? You can't tell that with a brochure. You can't tell that with a business card um, and, and other traditional forms of advertising. Footage that is shot for a video. If we were to come to your office or studio or plant or whatever, um, footage that is shot, as long as it doesn't 
you know, um, your off, your service offerings don't materially change, meaning, you know, you were an accounting firm and now you're a lawyer, law firm or something. Uh, video that's shot can always be repurposed and reused, preserving the investment that you make uh, in video. So, and lastly, but perhaps most importantly, it is the most effective uh, in, comp in conveying the passion for what you do. So I'd love for anyone, I challenge anyone to, you know, come up with something that can, that can uh, enable someone to articulate the passion that they have, the knowledge that they have, without using video to do so. All these pictures and text obviously can only go so far. Okay, um, the types of videos that you could use, moving on here. So, um, in fact, this is where I'll hit play. So, try to, try to, this is actually like a, just a montage of, of videos that we've done recently. This is uh, a practice overview for a dentist. Um, there's several other videos here which I'll go through now. Okay, company overview. This is what I like to call video salad, <laughs> which means it basically incorporates in, in as uh, concise a video as possible all of the major elements of a good video, a testimonial from a good, happy client, maybe a testimonial from um, other employees in the, in the company, uh, obviously facility shots, interview with the owner, that type of thing. This could be uh, anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute and 45 seconds. Typically, this would sit on a home page of someone's website. The second is called a blog style video, which is what we're offering as a, a free gift today. Uh, blog style video are videos that, let me see if I can even scan here, maybe I can. All right, this is a marketing event video. This is a trade show video. Let's scan through here a little bit. Okay, blog style, here's a, here's a cool blog style video we just did. This is for a, oh, this is a product video. Two seconds that'll end. Okay, so this is it happens to be a, a tutoring center in Franklin Lakes, and what he's doing is extremely smart. We made a little TV show called the Scott Doty TV Show, and uh, Scott owns uh, it's a company called Brainstorm. It's a tutoring center in Franklin Lakes, and what he's doing is he's creating a series of blog style videos that go out to the parents of the students that he trains at the uh, at the at the location there. So. Uh, basically right here he's saying that you know the word choice that you use a vocabulary is a good thing so these are simple videos that educate your clients that they can either be potential clients or your actual clients so these videos are going out to the parents intended for them to share with other parents and say hey this place is great so benefits of a good vocabulary okay that's a blog style video okay let's see what else uh, VNR a VNR is, called, is a video news release. Like, you know, let me just to avoid distraction here. Okay, so a VNR is a, is a video news release. Uh, we had a company come to us about two years ago, and they cr they claimed to have a product uh, that saved saves you gas in your car and in trucks and stuff. A Twenty percent savings of fuel based on this thing that you put into the engine of your car. So. They wanted to do a commercial, and we advised them not to do a commercial because no one's going to believe the, you know, that, that this is, this is going to work. So uh, what we did instead was we did a news-style piece. It's called the VNR, or a video news release. What that is, it's basically with a, like a reporter type of thing where we can, sh you know, show it as if, wow, this is a new thing. We're going to vet it. We're going to present a, an opposing view, per, perhaps, which is what the news does. You know, some people agree with this, but some people don't, and then we bring in that person. So what it did was it lended a tremendous amount of cr uh, credibility to the product based on the way it was presented, and they wound up getting into, like, Transportation Magazine, and the video just took them uh, uh, further. So that's, what a, that's a, a, what a video news release is. Of course, testimonial videos. Testimonial videos, let's see here. Um, very simply, your, your, your happy clients, you know, speaking about how good of a job you did for them or how good the product is that they bought from you. Let me scan there. Uh, okay. Well, this is a testimonial within another video here, but this is a uh, personal training gym in Mawa, so uh, 
Okay, this is a pool company. This is another overview video. Um, how to slash educational videos. We already touched on that. Um, new product introduction videos. Case studies are fantastic. So case studies are a little bit more involved than like a before and after video. A before and after video could be for like, a, let's say, an auto body shop or a builder that says, look, look at this uh, addition. It was falling apart. We, we, you know, rehabilitated it. Or maybe even a pool building company that says, look, this was the backyard beforehand. This is what it is after. Those are before and after videos. A case study is a little bit more in depth. So it could be you know, a perfect example, again, would be, you know, an accounting firm. This was a company's challenge. They came to us. It could be anonymous. This was the one, two, three, four problems that they had. And here is how we approached the solution. Here's how we, you know, executed the solution. And here's the result afterwards. So case study videos uh, can be great. Marketing events. All right, let me go back here. Marketing events, if you have any type of you know, facility, it doesn't even have to be a facility. It could be something like, um, you know, you rent a room somewhere or you have an event somewhere. Hold on a second. Uh, where you invite other companies. That's what this one is here that we did for. Okay, this is a marketing event that we did uh, for Design Spree. It's a store in Maywood, New Jersey. And they, they did an open house. They invited all kinds of other companies to come in and have a table. And then they did a video of the event itself and each you know quick interview with every you know every table that was there each company got highlighted in the video and then they of course design spree put it on their website they tagged everybody else in the video so it automatically through social media said hey you were tagged in this video and then of course all of those companies use the same exact video to promote themselves by saying hey we were invited to be at this marketing event it was awesome by the way you you can see us at uh, you know two minutes and five seconds of the video so marketing events can be uh, awesome as, as far as video now there are two uh Innovative, I'm just gonna pause this, this is a trade show video. Um, there are two uh, innovative uh, videos that we came up with that uh, inspire uh, someone to, you know, it, it inspires authenticity. And one of them is hidden camera videos. I can't tell you how many companies we've sat down with and made videos about their companies. And the people who we speak with at the companies are extremely passionate, they're obviously knowledgeable, they're, you know, they, they know what they're doing, and they're very articulate about it when in person, which all of you are, you know, about talking about your product. When, when, when we sit people down, however, and the red light goes on, it, it, it tends to be a different, different story sometimes. So one thing that we, that we are uh, pioneering, I, I'd like to say, is, is hidden camera videos. So what we do is we set up a scenario where we can interview a company about what they do and they have no idea there's a camera somewhere in the room. Uh, Chit Chat Diner in Hackensack, we've done two of them so far, they're in production right now. Uh, they've, they've agreed to, they said, listen, as long as you come at like eight o'clock in the morning, we can, we can do this. We hide a camera in the diner, put a wireless microphone on the table easily 40 feet away and the zooms that we have on our cameras zoom right into the, to the person. So we'll say, hey, you know, we understand you wanna do a video about your business, tell us about your business. How do you keep ahead of the trends? How do you, you know, what are some of the new things going on in your industry? And it comes out, you know, the, the stuff that comes out of the, out of the person's mouth is, is marketing gold as far as I'm concerned because if it's prefaced in the beginning of the video that the video they're about to see is you know the person was you know duped into doing this video the authenticity authenticity level is is you know uh at, at a thousand percent so that's one idea one one uh thing that we're doing another one is uh, what we call power monials they're basically testimonials right we're all busy so a lot of times we're all we're too busy to even ask someone for a testimonial let alone give one for someone else so so I already mentioned that having video on your website serves all these great purposes, especially the SEO part of it. So one thing that we're, that we're offering that we, we are actually in production on, on two of them as well is uh, we call power monials where we will videotape someone that looks like a telemarketer calling your clients to do a quick survey over the phone. So hi, we understand you use XYZ company. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Oh, absolutely. So, 
So the person is on speaker, you hear the person, but you see, you're seeing this telemarketer. Now, what's great about that is we can ask them great follow-up questions. So what happened? Well, uh, I wrecked my car and uh, I had a problem, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and you used you know, East Coast Collision in Jersey City. Fantastic. Wow. How were they? Well, I can't, I can't tell you how great they were. From the second I spoke, you know, picked up the phone and called Chris over there, they picked me up, they gave me a free estimate, they, blah, 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 blah. you know, I can't believe they, they did that for you. Yeah. Can you believe it? You know, so this is an extremely, incredibly authentic, again, um, uh, video that not only, you know, obviously is, is a true testimonial, but also is a video. So it goes on the website and gets you the, the search engine optimization benefits there. So that's a, that's a new thing that we're doing. Don't even have a sample of it yet, but it's called Power Monials. Ask us you know, if, if you'd like to uh, find out a little bit more about that. Okay, so that covers uh, the types of videos that you can do. Uh, let's go into uh, the, the keys to a successful video. Okay, put a few things down here. Number one, uh, I keep I mentioned it a bunch of times already, Authenticity is key. Authenticity is key. So what I mean by that is something that's contrived, something that is, hey, ho, and, you know, graphics, they, they have their place and they can be great. But nothing beats authenticity. And so you, you could literally have, I'm not advocating this, but you could literally take a cell phone to, to your, your favorite client or someone or have them do it and send it to you by email of how happy they were. The phone could be shaky. The phone, it doesn't matter. If, if what's coming across is real, that's everything. Now, of course, you want a good video. You want something that's not shaky, not, you know, you want a good sound quality and stuff, but authenticity is key. Peoples, including everyone in this room, myself, all of, our, I like to say that our BS detectors are very honed. We're, we're all, especially in this area, very savvy consumers. And even if, you know, it could be a 1%, 2% thing like, oh, that person knows that they're on camera. You know, they, uh, of course they're going to say that. That takes away from the authenticity a little bit. So, so that's why, you know, authenticity is, is uh, key. So uh, number two, timely and relevant. This should go without saying, but of course you don't want to have old information up there uh, on your website, whether it's in the video or not. Um, you want to watch the uh, contrived or humor things. I, we've had some companies call us up and say, uh, you know, we want to do something that's, that we're going to try to do, have it go viral. And <laughs> you don't want to try to do that. I mean, you, you can, and, and, and if it does go viral, great. But usually when you try to, 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 make, to, try to be funny or whatever, it, it, it typically backfires. You, you typically would need a huge budget you know, to, to do something like that and pull it off well. Okay, uh, next one. It's professional or at least good audio. So um, there are a lot of uh, videos out there on, on YouTube that I'm sure you've seen where, where the content is good. The person's sitting there and they're saying, okay, hi, I'm a chiropractor. Here's why you need to be, you know, you, you need to use a chiropractor. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, one, two, three. But they're back here and it, we, can't, we can't hear them and you know the content is good, but it's, it just takes away a little bit. So, so audio is, is key. I already mentioned educational. Teach, teach, teach. Okay, context is everything. One question that we get all the time is, how long does the video have to be? And I say, it's got to be as, sh the only rule of thumb with length of video is that it's got to be as short as possible without leaving anything out. You want to get the whole message out without being redundant and without leaving anything out. So that could mean your video could be 30 seconds. Your video could be, you know, a minute and a half or whatever. Um, on the flip side of that, and this is why I say context is everything, if I know I'm taking an online college course, I know that I'm going to be sitting down to 20 hours of, of video, right? So I'm, I'm fine with it being 20 hours. However, if it's obviously anything close to 20 hours on your homepage of your website, not a good thing. So context is everything. Uh, this was also mentioned uh, earlier, show, don't tell. We have a construction company. These guys said, come on down, we want to make a video about, we have multiple projects going on, you know, we want to do some videos. I walk in there, this place in, um, in uh, West, what is it called now? Woodland Park. Woodland Park. And um, gorgeous 
operation. You know, I, when I think sometimes when, when people think construction, they, you know, think chucking a truck, you know, this is like a major operation and the building was beautiful, but I didn't want them to say, oh, and by the way, look at our beautiful offices. What we did was we showed the beautiful offices. We put the accounts payable person in, you know, an environment where, she, you know, behind her was this gorgeous office. We put the you know, the office making staff in different environments that showed the office. So wherever you can show that you know what you're doing versus saying, I know what I'm doing, that's, that's, a, that's a good benefit. Um, release them over time. Videos that you make uh, to, save, to save money, have it be economical. You could do 10 blog style videos in one day. What we advocate and what we practice is bring 10 different, you know, um, outfits. So we can shoot them all different locations, but then what you do is you release them over time. So you're paying for one shoot day instead of 20, but then you have 20 videos that you can, we can edit over time and then release over time, but uh, you're saving your money there. Okay. And uh, depending on the type of video, a good clear call to action. So this should go without saying to, to marketing people, but what do you want people to do? Again, that conversion. Do you want them to subscribe to your blog? Do you want them to donate? Do you want them to um, like, share, comment? whatever, put a good call to action in there. So that's, uh, that's keys to a success. Any, any questions? Uh, you mentioned so? so many different videos. How should you get yeah. started? You know, if you're really a, kind of a virgin, <clears throat> what's the first video that you should have? Okay. Um, I've, been saying for, I've been saying forever, how do you, how, how do you stack boxes? Right. You put the biggest one on the bottom, then you go smaller, smaller, smaller. So, so if you, I would say that if, if a company only had let's say the budget to do one video or they just wanted to get their feet with, with it, um, I would say do an overview video, you know, of your company. So it's about a half day shoot, half day edit. It's approximately $1,000 to $1,500 depending on the complexity of it. But if you could only do one, that's what I would do. Although, you know, you wouldn't be all, bad off if you had five simple blog videos. Hi, uh, we are a... Uh, uh, you know, consulting company, and this is what we do. And you know, topic of the day is this. You know, people love it when the first thing that they are doing on video is uh, today. We're going to talk about, and it's their first video, as if they did 20 videos prior to that. So, yeah, blog videos would be one. But I would say an overview video of your of your company if you only do one. Um, how are we doing on time? No, you're good. You're oh, good. Okay. Oh, oh, there's one more. One, one, actually, I have one more little yes, piece. No, how no, am I? No, okay, all right. Pre-roll video advertising. I'm going to make a prediction. You're going to be doing this one day. How about that? See that? And when you do, think of this day, all right? Pre-roll video advertising are the commercials that you see online prior to videos that you want to see online. So, so uh, I'll tell you a little story. The, you know, bring up the speed here. The, uh, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, before cable to advertise, there was five channels, okay? If you had $1,000 to spend on every spot, that's all, you know, ivory soap. That's, that's all who could afford on, uh, at that point. Then came cable. Now from five channels to 500 channels, the prices come down. Local advertisers can advertise on cable now. Still expensive based on the return. But now you can make a commercial and have it air in any zip code prior to a video online that you're pulling up and have it cost you pennies per view. And on top of that, the, uh, if people don't watch the whole commercial, you don't pay for it at all. People skip the ad. When you skip an ad, the company's not paying for it, typically. So you get a lot of free branding. It's incredibly inexpensive because why? Now there's not 600 channels. There's 600 million channels, which is the internet. So you could be on any website. It could be on a, you could be on here on a website in China. If they're using YouTube to host the video on that website in China, your video could appear before that video here. And it's crazy because it's actually based on uh, your online activity. So if I Google dentist five times and I click on a few links and then I go back and I watch a video about the highlights of the basketball game last night, Joe's dentist is around the corner from me. He's going to pop up right there. And it's incredibly targeted, incredibly inexpensive. The ROI is, is, is incredible. So that was, that was a quick glance over the last part of it. But, but pre-roll video is, is uh, you know, soon you're going to start seeing ads for your local pizza place. Yes. That's another great thing about it. It's actually budget based. So no longer is it, okay, this is going to cost me 500 a month, 300 a month or whatever. You put the budget in similar to AdWords. So, you know, you could say, I want to put, uh, 
X amount towards it, whatever your budget is, and you see how far that goes. The average that I, we've seen as far as the price per click, when someone either, see when someone clicks on your ad and goes to your website, that's a conversion, that you pay for that, even if they watch five seconds of the commercial. If they watch past 30 seconds, that's also considered a conversion. You know, no one's going to watch your commercial for more than 30 seconds if they weren't interested. So, so um, you know, it could be as little as 10 cents. It could be as high as 50 cents. Depends on the popularity of the keyword that you're trying to hit. So if you're selling Ferraris and one sale is $200,000, you may pay $100 for a click. But most keywords are not like that. Most keywords are, you know, the average we see is like, 20 to 30 cents a, a click or view. Does that answer your question? Yeah, but if you say 20, 30 cents a click, it's 10,000 cost of fortune. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Just, just put your fortune in first. Just say, okay, I only want to put, you know, put uh, uh, you know, $100. Whatever your budget is, you put that in. So if it's $300, divide that out. You get 1,000 clicks for $300. You know, these are, these are bona fide. I mean, who's going to watch your commercial past 30 seconds if they're not interested, number one? And who's going to click on your commercial to go to your website if they weren't interested? Those are what you want to pay for, the good ones, you know, not the, you know, the ones that Cablevision are, are I mean, not, that has its place too, but they can't tell you who's, you know, watching your commercials and stuff. You put your budget in first. Yeah. I only want to spend $100. I want to spend, right. Yeah. It's actually daily. So you could say, I only want my commercial to appear Monday through Friday, and I want to spend at most $10 a day, $50 a day. The, the targeting is, is insanely ridiculous. What's that? It's called pre-roll video advertising. It's a video that rolls before you, the, the video that you want to see. It's part of YouTube. Yep. So you say, I say, I want to spend $100 a week. Yep. Correct. Correct. Your video won't show up after after your your budget is met. Uh, Google owns YouTube, and that is it's through Google. It's, 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 it's yeah. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Yes, that was great. Yeah, AdWords works the same way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that is more on the hardware side where I'm not, you know, ver as versed in that. Um, what was your question? Some, we didn't hear it. Before. That, okay, the question was, she asked a question about streaming. Streaming direct from, direct from the internet to your, to your television or whatever. Television. Yeah. So you can now do channels, like I'm going on this channel called HerTube and have my own channel. Uh-huh. For women only. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's cool. Well, if it's a place to advertise, I'm gonna look into it. You know, we could put you know companies put our clients on there. Yes. Question. Um, you know, we're talking about a uh, website uh, video, but I'm, you probably let me know or give me the information about putting a video or a commercial in television. What do I do? Do I go to a company like yours, shoot a video, and then go to a um, Talking about cable? Yeah. The question is, you know, how do you get something on cable? You can go to them, and they'll say, okay, it's going to be X amount of dollars, and depending on how big your package is that you're buying, they can include a commercial, or um, or you can certainly go to them with one pre-made. So yes, you can absolutely call a company like mine, and we'll make a, you know make a commercial for you, and then you can put it on cable. Yep. Yep. Anything else? Yeah. What vi okay, it, it, it actually doesn't matter. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter where, um, what video that it's on. So, based, you, you're, so you're, not, you're not targeting now to the masses. It's like a billboard. You're targeting based on individual. Like that. You might want someone, you're not going to 
get someone that's looking for it, just your regular funny haha YouTube video is not going to be anywhere. Why wouldn't you want your your ad to to show there? No, I'm saying you, you may you may not you may want to be more specialized to try to target more audience that way, like your particular audience. Okay, okay, okay. Like All right. This bears explaining. Okay, so it's not like that. It's not like if you have, see if you put, if you put the funniest video up on, up on YouTube right now, it gets a million hits. Mm -hmm. The commercial that precedes it is not the same every time. Mm -hmm. The commercial that precedes it is based on the, the, the internet DNA fingerprint of the person who's watching it. Mm -hmm. So you, you could just have researched, you know, um, vacations in Greece 50 times yesterday and someone else could be, you know, searching, um, I don't know, dentistry in a different area, you both could click on the same video, you'll see a commercial for, you know, travel agents, and they'll see a commercial for dentists. So it doesn't matter what video it is that they're pulling up, you know, although, of course, if you are, you know, you want to print, you know, pull up, a, you know, I want to print my business cards so I can search business cards, it, it can come up there too. But um, does that make sense? It kind of like selects Right, right, right. So now you're now you're like laser. You're you're just following the people who who've demonstrated an interest in your product or service prior to pulling up any video. That's what cookies are all about. That's what online browsing habits. It's based on your your Google searches. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, any, anyone anyone else? I don't want, I don't want to. Is it? Yep. Yep. It's based on zip codes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can target. You can put the zip codes that you want. You can hit one zip code if you want, all day long. I'm sorry. How are people making money off of YouTube? Like I'm a I'm a singer and a musician, so mm -hmm. there's a site called TuneCore, I think. Okay. And it says you know make money off YouTube, and I haven't really looked at it so much. But how how are businesses or other artists or you know how are people making money instead of always having to well, I don't know if the people, at, well, I'll give you one scenario, There's many different ways, but, you know, if one way of making money, but you mean as an artist, though, is that what you're saying? Well, just, just in general, I'm just curious. Well, one way is, hypothetically, I could click on this video right here. Now, YouTube isn't free. It's YouTube seems, sounds like it's free, right? But the way we pay for it is in the advertisements that appear over the commercial. So you have to be careful when using YouTube to advertise your business because if you're a, um, uh, you know, a printer, let's say, and you put a video up there about your business and someone searches and finds that video, other companies could be advertising on your video. And vice versa, you can advertise on someone else's video. So um, that's one way that YouTube makes money and people make money using it. Um, Yeah, exactly. <coughs> yep. yep. Oh, let's do the drawing. Okay, cool. So, so this is what I want you to do. Go back to your business card. Thank you. Go back to your business card. Now, if you have the C, the R, and the N, this is what I want you to do. If you'd like us to call you because you're interested and you want us to find out more about uh, using video for your company, circle the C. <laughs> if you don't want us to call you but you know someone who you should call and you want to refer us to someone, Circle the R, and if you're not interested, just circle the N. <laughs> it's okay. You can still win the, the video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna hand out a or pass this uh, thing around. Just put your business cards in it, and who do you want to pick? Someone to, to pick? Where do you want to pick it? Then the winner is Don Pardo, Beetle Golf LLC, Jim Beetle. Jim Beetle. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for your time, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, special thank you to Grace Stack and Video Marketing Group for um, giving us our wonderful refreshments this morning. Don't forget, our next seminar is March 20th for contractors and real estate developers, best practices, how to secure financing and bonding. And thank you all for coming. I really very much appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care.